Hi everyone! Continue tayo sa ating lesson sa grade 4 math, module 5, lesson 2. Ngayon is nasa lesson 2 na tayo. Ang lesson 2 natin is solving routine and non-routine problems using data presented in double or single bar graph. Kapag routine at non-routine problems yung pinag-uusapan natin, meron talaga tayong 4 steps na ginagamit. Ang first step is understand. Sa understand is meron tayong what is ask and what are the given facts. Sa pangalawang step naman, ang plan. So, sa plan, meron tayong what operation will you use and write the number sentence. And ang third is solve. And then, ang fourth is look back and verify or check. Meron tayong example dito. Gagamitin natin ang ating four steps sa ating example. So, meron tayo ditong graph. This is the number of coconuts harvested. So, ito yung ating graph. Ang tawag dito is horizontal bar graph. Bakit horizontal bar graph? Kasi horizontal ang kanyang bars. And then dito sa kabila is tinatawag natin itong vertical axis. Dito naman sa baba, ito yung tinatawag nating horizontal axis. And then dito, nakalagay ang months natin. So meron tayong January, April, July, at October. Dito naman sa baba or sa ating uh, Horizontal axis, ang nakalagay is number of coconuts. So, meron tayong 100, 110, 120, 130, 140. Meron tayong question dito, how many more coconuts were harvested in July than in January? So, titingnan natin ang ating graph. Ito yung ating graph. At ito yung ating question. Gagamitin natin ang ating four steps sa pagsagot ng ating question. So, uh, of course, ang first step natin is understand. What is ask? So, ano yung hinahanap sa ating question or ano yung tinatanong dito sa ating given? So, ang tinatanong dito or ang inahanap is how many more coconut were harvested in July than in January? Ngayon, ano naman yung mga given facts? What are the given facts? So, ang given facts natin dito, sa January is 100 na coconuts, sa April is 120, sa July is 130, and sa October is 110. So, ito yung given facts natin. Sa plan na tayo. So, sa plan, what operation to be used? So, dahil ang hinahanap natin is kung ilang coconut yung na-harvest sa July compare sa January, ang gagawin nating plan is, uh, ang gagamitin nating operation is subtraction. At ang pagsulat niya sa ating number sentence, 130 minus 100 is equal to N. Kasi, Ang July natin is 130 and ang ating January is 100. So, isubtract natin itong January sa ating July para makita natin kung gaano karami ang lamang ni July kay January. Kaya 130 minus 100 is equal to N. Okay, so third step natin is solve. So, 130 minus 100 is equal to N. 130 minus 100 is equal to 30. 30 is equal to N or N is equal to 30. So, ibig sabihin, ang lamang ni July kay January is 30 na coconuts. Step 4, look back and verify. So, ang complete answer natin is... 30 more coconut harvested in July. Sa look back and verify, titingnan natin yung mga steps na ginawa natin, lalo na ang ating steps na solve, kung tama ba yung pagkasubtract natin. That's all for today's video guys. See you in our next lesson. Bye!